Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am not doing too much at all. I am packing, well finish, oh. I am finishing packing the rest of my stuff. So I'm just off to Walmart because I need a new carry-on suitcase because the bag that I brought over is just not gonna cut it. Um, so I'm off to that, but it's a really sunny day. So I might go a bit adventuring, like not adventuring, but I might just like, stay outside for a bit because it's really really nice we'll go for a walk or something like that um but uh yeah let's let's go and see what we get up to um and then i gotta finish packing and that's about it tell me why decided to make a slight detour and come to Best Buy because I really want to see if one if they have any deals on cameras because I need a new like vlogging camera because my other Sony one has broken and two I really need a cover for my Mac because when coming over here from Australia I now have a big scratch on the front from getting it in and out going through um, like security so that was really frustrating so I want to get like a cool cover to like cover that but also protect it from not getting scratched again so I'm here and then I'm probably gonna go to winners after this I don't really need to buy anything else but I always like to check in there because you never know what you can find and then I'll probably go to Walmart so let's go So now I'm off to winners. I swear to God that Best Buy like it never has anything good anymore. Ever since like Christmas, I can never find anything in there. It sucks. So I've just got like this one compartment here that can strap in and this one is like the meshy stuff and you can zip that up. So this was like $50. So it was one of the cheapest ones that Walmart had. Of course, it's Air Canada brand. So at least that way I know that it's legit like can fit on the plane because I'm flying with Air Canada. Um, so let's get packing into this one and then I will show you guys what the rest of my bag is. Seriously. This cat just will not let me pack. Shouldn't you're not getting in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. He wants to get in there. He's into sniffing everything at the moment. <laughs>
from yesterday that you would have just seen I started packing all of these bags up this one here I had kind of left half packed anyway from when I got to Canada but I did have some things in there that I got out so I'm kind of just putting all of my heavier snow gear and stuff like that um, back in there some hoodies and whatnot and as you can see my Oktoberfest outfits um, so what I'm actually going to be doing is with this bag I've got most of the half stuff packed at the moment um, and I'm going to put my main stuff in here that I'll be using for when I first get there my toiletries and stuff like that in my hybrid one I will just have like all my summer clothes and stuff that I won't need straight away purely because I'm not too sure if I'm going to bring this with me yet I may ship this bag I'm not sure but um, <clears throat> I've got all this stuff in this bag here that you would have seen in my haul before this video um, still left that I need to put in here so I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I have bought some stuff and last time it was already full to the brim so I might have to ship um, some more stuff out there with this bag the only problem is I don't care what the weight is because I'll be shipping it but I'm just not sure if it will actually fit in there. So if this one I can fit more in and it ends up being heavier, then so be it. I will ship that too because I don't want to pay airline fees for that one. But for now, I'm going to try and make sure I can get everything I need into this bag and then sort the rest out later. So let's go. Okay, so as mentioned, these two bags are ready to go get shipped and I'm shipping them today. This bag here is what I'm taking um, with me on the plane, I've just got those three pairs of shoes and a couple little bags to put back in there. It's probably going to be overweight, but I really hope they let me take it because I cannot take anything else out of that. It's pretty much got everything that I'll need when I first get there, like clothes and stuff for work and what's not. So I've been using this little bad boy to weigh all of my bags to make sure that I'm all good. This just helps with my serious packing anxiety because um, I just hate like not knowing how much everything weighs. So pretty much um, I bought this from Walmart quite a few years ago. It just has the little clip that clips around like your um, straps on your suitcase and you can just pick it up and it weighs roughly what your bag is so you know exactly what you're going to be up against if it's overweight by heaps or just a little bit. So I recommend packing with this all of the time. I'm sorry for the bad lighting in here. We do live in a basement and our room has no windows at all. Plus it's really crappy outside anyway. But, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all this in. I'm thinking I might have to leave some stuff behind. We're coming back in October for a wedding. So I'm thinking I might have to leave some of this stuff behind and then get it in October or send it out later on if I need it. I have too much stuff. So if anyone wondering what's wrong with my eye, <laughs> it's just irritated. I don't know, like it's only this bottom part. It feels fine, but it just looks like shit. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I don't know how I fit all this stuff in before. Granted, I've gotten quite a few things like shoes and some other, like clothes and stuff since being here like I mean it's only been three months but I've managed to probably get a whole nother suitcase full of things <laughs> I did buy some clothes like you saw in my last video in the haul if you haven't seen it I'll link it below but I did get quite a few stuff there purely for like when I get out there and stuff but I've also got shoes and stuff and I don't know how I'm gonna fit this all in <laughs> somebody help me <laughs> so it actually fits a decent amount um, I've had to put two of my coats, like jackets, in here. Um, I've got some jeans and tops on that side. And then this side I've just got my makeup um, and like my underwear and, and whatnot. So that's all I'm going to take in that. And then my other carry-on, it's kind of all over the place at the moment. <laughs> but um, I've got like this little backpack. I'm going to put that, it's got all my camera stuff in it that and I'm just gonna put it all in this like tote bag with my laptop because last time it was so annoying taking a backpack with my laptop and having to like keep pulling it in and out and in and out 
um, go like going through security and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna do it that way um, for now. I mean, it's only a one-way trip, um, and then all my stuff will be in one place, hopefully. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you kind of enjoyed coming along with me and pack my bags. It's been like so stressful again. Probably not as stressful as when we came to Australia, but um, I just don't know what I'm gonna need when I first get there. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed or if you feel my stressing problems, please comment below. I'd love to know if anyone has some good packing tips for me. And um, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully the next time I see you guys will be in bed. Bye guys.